I personally wouldn't describe myself as like one of those girls who's obsessed with shoes, but I do like shoes. Like I, I want to make sure when I'm stepping out, I have a cute pair of shoes, cute pair of sneakers, cute pair of boots, whatever it is. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my five types of essential boots that I think you and me, both of us, we both need for the winter. And these are all definitely affordable products. I would say maybe except for the last option, those tend to be a little bit more expensive, but I promise you there's a wide variety of price ranges. And I would say personally a wide variety of styles. I know some people are more into the boho look. Some people like a really chic and like clean look. I got it all, okay? So let's get into this video. Let me share my five categories of winter boots that you need in your closet ASAP. So I live in Chicago, which is cold, which is gonna be wet, which is not fun, basically, in the winter. And one of the first things that I bought when I moved here was a pair of fur lined boots. So this first category is boots that are water resistant, fur lined, basically like weather friendly boots. Y'all are getting a sneak peek um, because these haven't even like hit the pavement yet, but these are a pair of Doc Martin Chelsea boots. Really, really cute. Very, very simple. I've always wanted a pair of Doc Martens since I was a little kid, but they were always so expensive, so I never really felt comfortable asking for them. But now that I'm an adult, I have my own money, and this is also an essential. I decided that I would actually invest in a pair, and I've heard really, really great things about Doc Martin boots, especially their fur line boots. So I got the black Fairline ones, and I'm very, very excited to wear these. I tried them on. They are definitely very, very warm. They're snug, but not like too snug where I need to go return them. And I have heard with Doc Martens, you definitely have to break them in. So eventually I'll be getting my steps in and breaking these in. But I definitely think these are an essential for your closet, especially if you live in a very cold city. If you live in LA, you can skip past like this first section. But if you live somewhere that actually has a winter, a pair of Doc Martens with fur, is a really really great choice i think for a pair of fur boots the price ranges i think the cheapest is maybe 120 or 140 and then it gets up to like two something so these were mine i'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to shop my stuff um but yeah get you a pair of these cute versatile probably won't wear them in the summer because well, one because it's hot also because of the fur it doesn't really match but fall winter maybe even going into spring i think these are a great catch Next up, uh, I've had these for about two years. I got these summer of 2019. They're a little dusty because I haven't worn them in a minute, but these are a pair of Ralph Lauren rain boots. I got them from DSW for a really good price. Is the thing still on here? I sometimes keep my tags on here, but I guess it's not. These are just basic shiny rain boots. They do very, very well in the rain. I've never had my foot get wet. I like that they have a tight fit on them. And I think like they're so simple, I honestly would be comfortable wearing these in the winter. I'm not too sure about how like the slip is down here. Like I don't know if these are good like treading shoes, but I think they're essential for winter because winter doesn't always have snow all the time. There's also like some rain or it's the rain and the snow mix. So yeah, I really, really like these. I don't know if they still make this exact style, but you can get a pair of like rain boots a lot of different places. And it has like the classic Chelsea look, but they're just shiny for the rain. So yeah, really, really cute. Okay, so like I said, the first and the second categories are essentially the same thing, but those are specifically for like inclement weather. Now we're gonna talk solely about Chelsea boots, which are all the craze right now. They've been like the craze probably for the last like two or three years. And if you're an OG subscriber, you actually saw me buy these boots from Boohoo. I got these my senior year actually. I'll link the video up here and down below. But these are just a basic pair of Boohoo cheap uh, they're cheap honestly um chelsea boots i've been rocking with these for a minute and i really really like them like they're simple and when you buy stuff from like fashion nova boohoo she and sometimes you don't always expect like really good quality but these have stuck with me minimal scuff no scuffs no scuffs on these and i have worn these in the mud and they cleaned really really easily i like that they have a zipper i will say the first two pairs of shoes that i showed you they do not have a zipper but these are perfect really, really like these in their space i've worn like fuzzy socks with these so a basic pair of chelsea boots are definitely essential and these have a low heel unlike the next pair that i'm about to show you so my subscribers from last year y'all should know what these are these are the steve madden amulet like boots and basically i was on pinterest one day and i was on twitter and i saw these gucci boots that look just like this but they had a snake on the bottom and i was obsessed i sent them to my mom i was like i need to invest in these so so cute but they were nine nine hundred dollars i could be wrong i have the video up here because i talk about it 
but a lot of money a lot a lot of money and I actually found these dupes and I got them for Christmas really really simple Chelsea boots they have a higher heel than the last pair that I showed you but they're so cute they're so simple I love these so so much and when I first got them I did say oh they're uncomfortable for walking but I went to the mall with these on a couple weeks ago and they actually are not bad so I guess I just had to break them in a little bit but I really really like these and I just learned this a couple weeks ago so you guys see it has the really cute um, like jeweled uh, decor or whatever you can actually take this off so it's just I don't want to take it all the way off so it's just a basic black Chelsea boot I really 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 like that um, I just love when you can like kind of get two for one and I feel like this is a two for one and a great feature for a Chelsea boost to have is this little what is this called like a strap or hook or whatever basically that helps you put the shoe on and take it off a little bit easier because sometimes if you have a bigger foot or a wider foot sometimes it's a little hard to get the boots off but with these very very helpful so really really good unfortunately Steve Madden does not put these on sale they may, they may be stingy with these shoes probably because they are very very popular but they also have some dupes at Shein I will link those down below I don't I can't like say the talk about the quality but they look literally the same I love these so so much I'm riding for the Steve Madden ones but if you want a cheaper option I'll link those down below and I've actually seen a pair at Ross as well so you you can definitely find these boots cheaper if you want. You want to pay the nine hundred dollars for the Gucci ones, one hundred twenty nine for these, or like forty five dollars for the Shein ones. You can get these for a good price. So in the fall and in the winter, more so the winter, you don't always want to be practical. Sometimes you you gotta look really cute and a little impractical. So one of my favorite things to wear in the fall and the winter are a pair of heeled boots. People call them booties, whatever you want to call them. I had these for a minute and they, they look not brand new, but they look pretty good. So these are basic brown platform booties. Where did I get these from? Mosimo. These have to be from JCPenney, y'all. I haven't shopped at a JCPenney for a while. These are kind of old, y'all. Wow. I love these so much, though. Like, these are like a confidence booster. When I wear these, I'm like tall. I'm like almost hitting my six feet. I'm feeling good. They're very stable. I've never worried about like tripping or falling in these. Very, very cute. And the main reason why I pulled these out is because of the color. This like dark camel color is essential for a winter or fall closet. These there's so much you can do with this color and sometimes you don't want to wear black sometimes you want something with a little bit of variety and these will give it to you and the next pair actually combines a little bit of both so like i said sometimes you don't always want to wear all black but maybe sometimes maybe the brown is a little too much for your outfit so you can get some that has a little bit of black in it i got these a couple years ago from actually a boutique back home it's called layton's i love layton's so so much i get a lot of unique pieces from there but these are like these block booties like so so cute it has the like not spandex but like the stretchy material here so it can stretch a little bit more very very cute very simple these I will say are not as comfortable as the first pair that I showed you guys but again I feel very stable walking in these and they actually look higher than they feel but I think these are really really cute you need variety when you have your ankle booties and this is a great pair to have in your closet like a multi-color pair something that's simple I could wear these to work I could wear these like going to like dinner with my friends or I could wear these on a date night there's so many occasions where I could actually wear these boots I'm a big basics girl. I believe you should have some basics that you can pull out at any occasion. And black booties are literally the definition of basics. Out of everything in here, I'll do that at the end, but I'm gonna tell you guys like my, like if I could only pick two, three pairs, I'm gonna show you guys those pairs. I forgot the material, but these basic black booties are some of the best things that I've ever bought. These are from Shein. I will link the video because I actually remember what video this was. These are from Shein. They're so simple. They actually have a lower heel. They, they just look so, so cute. Like if you're wearing black jeans, it kind of gives you this seamless look. I've worn it with like, like a mini skirt and some tights with these boots. Like you need these in your closet ASAP. Go on Shein, go on Nordstrom, go on anywhere else that they sell shoes DSW and get I wish these weren't flopping over but a basic pair of black booties again so versatile these are comfortable and you're gonna get so much wear out of these I promise you okay 
Now we're gonna, we're gonna turn things up a notch, okay? The this next section is for over the knee boots, and we have we have two options for y'all, okay? We have the option for those of y'all that like heels, and the option for those of y'all that don't want to wear heels, okay? Or for those of y'all that want both. These are some of my favorite shoes. I have no idea when I got these. I actually used to have a pair in brown as well, but the heel broke. Some black over the knee pleather. <laughs> faux leather boots. I love these so, so much. And these are actually coming back in style. You're seeing a lot of these, but with a platform um, type of like bottom or platform boot. So, so cute. Very versatile. I've worn these to concerts. I've worn these to dinners. And it's also a really great way to just dress up a pretty basic outfit. I don't know if you guys have seen like pictures of different basketball wives, but I've seen various pictures of them and they have a pair of over the knee boots. Essential and they tie in the back. I love these so, so much. Eventually I do want to get like the Steve Madden brown pleather ones. I just think they're really, really cute. You have to be careful though. These are good fake leather because they don't make noise, but some of them you're going to hear a when you're walking, that will personally annoy me, but these, you don't hear anything. Not a thing, and it has a little stretch to them. Such a great addition to my closet. I love these so, so much. I need an occasion to wear these too. Okay, I told you I was gonna have options for those of y'all that don't like wearing heels, and I will be honest with you, these have wear and tear on them, but I love these boots so, so much. My friends have actually worn them while in college. Basic, flat, over the knee. Boots. I have been wearing not this exact pair, but this style probably since middle school. It's a it's a timeless thing. Like everybody wears these. They are I will say these are not the most comfortable. I wouldn't go to a music fest in these because your feet will hurt. But these are just perfect for like regular, like every day. I wear these to class a lot. They have a zipper in the back. And I don't know, these look amazing, especially with an all-black look, I think, because it just it makes it look like your pants or your shoes like y'all remember those those pants that willa smith wore i think it was willa smith but they were like the converse high top lace-ups that like ruled me and my friend group's life in like middle school but she had actually like a pair of pants that were also shoes anyway y'all need these in your closet very basic um this is a suede i think i think that's the material i'm not good with materials y'all but i really really like these these are definitely my go-to's in the winter and um you can honestly find these anywhere especially like at department stores like jc penny even though i don't know how jc penny is still in business um jc penny will definitely have those macy's belk dillard's I don't even know where people get shoes. DSW always has them. Those are a classic for the girlies, I promise you. So at the beginning of the video, I did mention that all of these shoes are affordable, except for this last pair. And I guess I would also say the Steve Madden pair, but I know there are like really good dupes of the Steve Madden pair. So, you know, that one, eh. But this next pair, this is very typical of me. I'm a diehard fan of these, and I've had these for a while. Uggs, y'all. These are my worn Uggs. I've had these probably for three or four years, and I'm not throwing them away because I love them so, so much. I will admit, the purple color has gotten a little, like, tired. Like, I'm like, damn, I wish I just had black. But you know how they say, oh, Uggs form to your feet? They do. These are probably the most comfortable winter shoes I've ever had in my life. I love my Uggs so so much i got them as a christmas gift one year and probably one of the best christmas gifts ever they're so warm my feet have never been cold in these uggs and um i also i, I like that these were unique because they're the purple color they had the jewel on the side and then the little bedazzling in the back if you can i would suggest investing in a pair of uggs just because they're worth the money and i have been looking around for a pair um I don't know if I want the short ones, I want the taller ones, I definitely want a basic color, like either the chestnut brown or the black. But with Uggs, as long as you don't do anything crazy like jump in puddles and do, play kickball with them, I think these will last you a very, very long time. And I honestly didn't even take care of my Uggs. I have an Ugg care kit, but I didn't even start using that until this year. And I only just brushed them down and that made a huge difference. But a pair of Uggs are absolutely amazing. I know Ugg has like a, I don't know if it's a sister brand or it has a, a brand that's attached to it called Coolumbara or something like that. I know those are cheaper options. I personally don't know about the 
longevity or the quality of those products but if you are looking for a cheaper uh, alternative you can check them out i don't even know bear paw is still around i haven't seen bear paws in years that's also a really good alternative i remember i had these hot pink payless like uggs um and i thought i was the girl i th those were very very cute it was like a magenta anyway um but yeah i ride for uggs all day every day so if i had to choose like the top three shoes where I'm like, you need to put these in your shopping cart at whatever store you're at or shopping at online. These are the three I would choose. I would have to say, one, the Steve Madden Chelsea boots. Maybe not necessarily that exact style, maybe like maybe not Steve Madden, but a pair of like slightly heeled Chelsea boots. You need those, no doubt about it. Secondly, a pair of wool boots, so like Uggs. If Uggs are too much, there's a lot of different um, alternatives, especially look online, like type in like affordable alternatives for Uggs. I'm sure you'll find some. I'm actually gonna look just in case I don't feel like spending that one 50 for a pair of Uggs but a pair of like wool like Ugg like boots or Uggs I think you need those in your closet they keep your feet warm they are comfortable they mold to your feet and they are like not an investment piece because you can't sell the boys but they are going to you're going to get your money's worth and that's that's what I think that is worth spending money when you're going to get your money's worth so the slightly heeled Chelsea boots, the Uggs, and I'm gonna go with the over the knee boots. I'm not gonna say whether it's the heeled or the flat because people have different preferences and things like that, but you need a pair of over the knee boots, okay? No matter if you're short, if you're tall, they're essential. You can get really high stiletto ones, you can get like kind of mid-tier ones like mine, or you can get flat, like flat boots. I think those are a great piece to have in your closet. You can do so, so much with those. And those aren't boots you're gonna wear every day. So they're gonna last a while. Like I told y'all, I've had the leather ones for a minute and the flat ones I've had for a minute. So those three items that I mentioned, those three boots, I think those will last you a long time and it'll give you some variety in your closet when you're dressing up for the winter sorays, for the winter dates, for the, the winter vacation. I don't know what vacation you'll be going on, you need boots like this I don't know if you're going somewhere cold I guess you'll need those but yeah y'all those are my essential winter boots that you need for this winter these are the boots that I'm gonna be wearing this winter if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're not already subscribed hit that love your subscribe button down below so you can join the family and leave a comment down below let me know which pair of shoes you would want to buy today which one would you want to buy I think the winner has to be I don't know I can't pick between the three that I chose but Y'all, I'm going to leave. I need to put these boots back up because it was a lot taking them down from my closet. But I will see you guys in my next video. And let me know if there's any other essential videos that you want. I've done the coats. I've done the boots. What else is there that you guys want to see? I will, if I have it, I will show y'all. But okay, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.